Some infractions have been recorded between journalists and police officers performing their respective duties. These incidences are usually recorded especially at public events or when there is a disagreement between journalists and police officers. The leadership of Giba, however, says the police and media must work hand in hand to enhance their respective duties. There was a gap actually between uh, the knowledge of police on journalists, some journalistic work, and there also journalism to uh, journalists who also understand police work. So you find that uh, there were points of conflicts that we needed to bring together, so that when there's an incident, there's a set, uh, structured way uh, that they can approach ask questions or, you know, for a journalist to also identify who within a police group to approach. You know, you probably do not want to approach the armed guy who is probably holding tear gas, but you should be able to identify who is the commander of an operation and to approach and then introduce, you need to introduce yourself. For example, there, were, there were a number of things that we outlined to enable us um, journalists and uh, the media platforms to be able to work with the police when these things come and then there are no infractions uh, as such on both sides. So this is actually what brought about. So that conversation is still going on. There's also the possibility and recommendation that we should infuse this into the media capacity um, um, program that we're doing in uh, with sponsorship from the Ministry of Information. Uh, we've had the first one in Kumasi, but there's also a suggestion if we can um, include it as one of the topics that we also do, uh, because uh, we can use the same funding that brings journalists and media people together and then use that platform to do that engagement. The president of Giba, Cecil Thomas Nilante Sunkomils, says the association is hoping all outstanding issues regarding the digital terrestrial migration can be addressed for the program to be done. But hearing, which is going to come on. So not much to comment on that. But um, we basically would want it to be done. Uh, we, would, we would be quite in a hurry to see um, clear, affordable rates uh, given to stations uh, to pay so that they are distributed around the country or whether it be it's on a district, on a regional or on a national basis but the rates should be fair and possible so that we can all uh, be able to do and uh, disseminate the information around the country for development. Um, so it, it was quite a delight that the conversation has started again. Of course, uh, there has been a first meeting for some selected TV members. Uh, Giba was not part of it, but the members are giving us feedback. So uh, they're supposed to go back and give some information. But I believe there's a lot more than just uh, the rates that needs to be discussed, the quality and uh, of, of broadcast and the nature of distribution, and a few other things need to be considered. So uh, we, we actually are actually very much interested in it and hope that this year we'll be able to see the digital migration uh, done and then uh, all the issues of rain feed, loss of signal, the quality, etc. is also uh, completed. The 15th annual general meeting brought together media owners and industry players to deliberate on issues affecting the private broadcasting space and the way forward for the association. The leadership of the Ghana Independent Broadcasters Association says it will facilitate talks with the hierarchy of the Ghana Police Service to ensure there is smooth relationship between media practitioners and the Ghana Police Service. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Kumasi.